Ice, he will be boosting some big amplitude. Dropping in right now. Any slip ups right now. It's a 1080 down low and stop clean. Life for me leading up to this accident was really good. Uh, had full confidence in the body like never before. That's kind of like why I uh, agreed to do a X Games real ski uh, entry at 37. Confidence was up, body was feeling good. Uh, I had, I was coming off like four years in a row of just skiing really hard and skiing good and like hitting the ground really hard and being able to get right back up and you know, everything was like clicking in my brain super well. And so it was, uh, yeah, life, life was good. Yeah, just the second of January this year out in Minnesota. I just had a little mishap where I left my Achilles tendon out there and decided to come home without it. happened uh, on, the, on the night of the 2nd of January out in Minneapolis and we were driving around looking for some features and uh, found this super cool like high cement ledge. It was a cement ledge that went down and then like kinked a full 180. A little down ledge to a little drop to redirect tranny. Something I'm not used to again. Like I was starting to like gain some confidence again starting to step into some stuff that maybe I, you know, a lot of people wouldn't have seen me step into. I wanted to just, you know, kind of surprise some people and turn some heads. And so it was like midnight, got the whole feature set up. And so I slid down the ledge and just like right when I tried to pop off the ledge, I don't, like it felt like my front foot got just like maybe a tad bit hung up or something. Cause like when I was in the air, I, I don't know, I was like leaning forward a little bit. And then all of a sudden I kind of knew like, ah, fuck, I, this is not going to be good. I landed with like my feet, like my skis, like almost kind of crossed in a way because I was like falling forward, all kind of fucked up like. And I had really soft ski boots on and one ski popped off and the ski that popped off the foot, like it was fine. And then this ski stayed on. My whole boot folded where like I, my shin touched the toe and I think it just, everything just crunched. It was just the Achilles tendon that just, I mean, took the whole brunt force and just snapped. My last two injuries have been like bilateral, where it's just like whatever I hurt on one leg, I hurt on the other leg, and it's just like the amount of excruciating pain is like, it was insane. <laughs> Felt like something was definitely wrong in my boot. Something's wrong with my Achilles tendon maybe, or something's wrong with my ankle. Like I gotta get my foot out of the boot. He's gone. Oh. I think I did. I did. And I take my own boot off, everything's fine, and. I'm like, well, I'm, I can move the ankle like side to side. I can point it down, but then when I went, tried to pull it up. So when I realized like, oh no, I can't pull my foot up. I, I took my sock off and that's where I saw this big divot, like right where your Achilles tendon should be. Like if you tear it, you're just gonna see this like little notch kind of. All I remember from my other two injuries was being like in so much pain, it's insane. So yeah, it was just a little bit it was like hard to swallow almost being like there's no way like I'm like I'm hurt hurt and then just like you try to stand up and you're like okay there is a way I'm definitely like hurt but it's not hurt you're just you're you're paralyzed really it's like a paralyzing feeling you got you get drop foot and then once you just can't like move your foot like up it, it hits you you're like okay I can't walk I can't ski I can't really do anything I have no power in my foot so we went to, we got loaded up and made it to the hospital around like one in the morning. And then I was there for probably two hours. And then they came in with the ultrasound machine and they just did a little ultrasound on the tendon and they saw from the ultrasound, they're like, yeah, there's nothing in there.
your mind and your body is crazy what it can overcome but there is like you get to an age like you have to like go about it the right way like there's not you can't just be you can't just be you can't just be like living life kind of stupid and expect to like have everything work out you know you got to be smart about how you go about certain injuries and met some people in Park City at the United States Ski Team Center and basically got showed a right way about how to like go about getting healthy the right way to train the right way to eat food the right way to go about like protecting your mental you know health protecting a lot of things and yeah it's my physical therapist who you're probably going to meet here in a little bit and she's a boss you know she doesn't work for the u.s team anymore she works for the university of utah but yeah it all, you know she was she was she was a beacon of light to like, oh my God, dude, I'm just never gonna be able to ski the way I want to, to like meeting her in an only one year of working with her. I'm like back to like crushing again, where I was like, okay, this is dope. You know what I mean? It's just, it's keeping the sanity. That's what it is. It's just keeping the sanity throughout this process. I'm a routine person. Like I have to have a routine or else it's like, it like life doesn't work, you know? And so for me, I wake up, I get breakfast, after breakfast, have a little protein shake, take my collagen and you know my little vitamins. And then pretty much after that, I do a little bit of icing and then I'll go to the gym and be on the bike for a half an hour, just pedaling with one leg right now. Which will be nice, because at 10 weeks, I get to start pedaling with two feet and that's like, all right, okay, here we go, you know? Like stuff's actually gonna be happening. I'm gonna be using this foot again. Seven and a half weeks is a long time. My foot has been in the sock and just looking at it like down like this, you know what I mean? And being like, wow, I can't wait for April 1st to get here. And it's crazy because like every day it's like a struggle almost to get on the bike. Like it's not fun going to the gym and working out, especially when you're like hobbling around. But if you could just keep telling yourself like it's all gonna pay off, you know what I mean? Anything positive you can do, like whether it's talking to yourself or you know, taking care of yourself, eating good foods, anything that you can do that's a positive influence on yourself during times of injury is like, that's the key to success. You always have to have like a super positive outlook about all this stuff. And like how my foot feels, it feels like, yeah, like when can I come back? Like you're gonna know through feels, like if my foot was like really, really bad, that's then you'd be like, okay, well, I hope I can come back. I was planning on maybe joining up the Free Raid World Tour again. Uh, I know it was a different year with the COVID situation, but they were still gonna try to have three stops, one in Andorra, one in Fieberbrunn, Austria, and then one in uh, Berbier, Switzerland. And, you know, I'd say out of any year to get hurt, this might not have been the worst one. It's serious and it's a life or death situation once you get into some like super gnarly shit, but those life and death situations should still be fun for you. And like that's the best piece of advice is just don't take shit too serious and have fun. Because it's fun what we do.